Hi, I'm Robert, President of Permaboss, and uh, I've always wanted to be one of those science teachers on Mythbusters on the side of a street, and I'm going to do a little science experiment today. What I want to do is explain the difference of why the Permaboss rhinestone machines have vacuum pumps which makes them actually more expensive, more effective, more reliable and why uh, the other machines don't and I'm going to show you a demonstration of what that principle is. So uh, in the background you might hear some noise, that's actually one of the Libros running and it's going to be running consistently and afterwards I'll take you there, I'll show you what the vacuum pump is on that machine. But Venturi principle is essentially when air is shot through something, through one area out the other, and it creates suction underneath. So the way I'm going to do that, I'm going to take a, a standard beer cup, and I'm going to put a hole in it, this lighter here. It's going to burn a little hole on the side. And there's that hole there. I'm going to right directly across the other side, I'm going to put another hole. And so what I'm doing with this hole here, that's the, if you hear that in the background, that's the Libro running, it'll probably run the whole time, is I'm going to blow compressed air through this hole and out the other hole and the air is going to fly through so fast that it's actually going to lift something up. It's going to create a vacuum or a suction. So I'll grab this compressed air and Imagine me blowing the air through one side and out the other. I'll try and do this the best I can. And when I let that go, the paper falls away. What's interesting is I have drywall here. So this paper, for example, is 3.5 grams or basically you know, 0.1235 of an ounce or a fraction of a pound. And here, I have a piece of drywall, which is the heaviest thing I had laying around. It's 1,030 grams, so it's 294 times heavier. And if I do the same thing, and this would represent a regular rhinestone and a large rhinestone. There's suction, it's, it's, it's hard to pull up the cup, but it's not impossible, and it won't lift up the, um, the drywall at all. So I'll do my very best. So if you watch, there was a movement, and I got it up maybe a millimeter or two, and then it would fall down. And that's what we're doing. We're creating a vacuum by blowing air so fast there's turbulence inside and it's creating suction underneath here. That's the entire principle of the CAMS machine or the Korean rhinestone machine. That means that there's absolutely no vacuum pump on there whatsoever. This here is just a central vac. So I took the, the smallest uh, shot vac, I mean, and I hooked up the hose. And now I have direct vacuum, which rep would represent our vacuum pump. So it grabs that, that's almost 300 times heavier, and it holds that. So I, I'm finally going to be famous. Maybe I have a half a million views for my famous Venturi principle uh, suction display thing. But I'm going to turn off the camera. I'm going to go over to the Libro rhinestone machine, show you the principle of that machine, and why the vacuum pumps are there, and why that performs flawlessly and completely different. The machine I'm about to show you is one that can run 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and we've got machines in the United States for over 18 years. Some of these customers have three machines, four machines, one of them has seven machines. They're running a machine they purchased from us that's, you know, in the principle of what this is, it's not exactly the same, but still running today. There isn't a single Korean machine in the market in rhinestones that's older than maybe five or six years and the ones that are currently sold are literally brand new right now, very recent. They don't have a longevity history. So it's a great way to start maybe, it's a cheaper way, but I'll show you why there's a big difference in the performance and the price of the machines and you get what you pay for, okay? Thanks. So I'm back, I'm in front of the uh, Libro Endless machine. This is the machine that actually is the one that can run continuously. We've been selling it for more than six or seven years now. We've got probably the most placements around the world and we've got installations with more than one of them. This machine actually is taking the entire new roll of paper and uh, unraveling it and taking the uh, backing off and saving it. And then it's allowing the clear paper to go through 
goes underneath and it goes towards the what we call the header or the robotic arm. This is a station here. This is one station one. At the back is station two. At the back is station three. And the front is station four. And this has that new disc hopper system, which we've been having actually for a number of years. I actually traded in this machine for a larger one, so I wanted to show you both systems. And what we're able to do here, if you take a close look, there's actually more than one stone here. That's something that the Korean machine doesn't have. So we're able to gather more than one stone. And while the machine is in a stationary position, we're picking it off. But we have the worst possible quality of crystal in here. Notice how many I can put in. So I can run this continuously, fill it right up level, and run it literally overnight for seven or eight hours. And um, the principle of the machine is the following. Let me just switch over here. So I'll turn on the uh, uh, vacuum pumps. Now, there's a big vacuum pump that's specifically for the header, and I just made that demonstration a little while ago. That collects the stone and places it down here. And then there's a smaller vacuum pump, which is, goes for each station. And we create a positive vacuum. We don't manufacture it with compressed air. So let me point out this way. Next time you come out of your pool and you say, Rob, dry me off, I can give you a hand towel and dry you off, a blow dryer, or I can get a pressure washer and wash you off with that to try and get you more dry. And the Venturi principle is like a pressure washer and this is like a hair dryer or a towel. So it's a more effective way of collecting the stone. And here's the principle. I can drive to station one and there's a vacuum and a suction here. And what happens is as I go through the station, it's going to go down, it's going to collect the stone, it's going to turn on a vacuum, it's going to go backwards while the vacuum is on. It perfectly presents the stone and then it goes forward, the, uh, the arm comes forward to collect the stone and the vacuum turns off. So now the setting cylinder goes forward, the vacuum turns off, um, the vacuum cylinder turns on and the stone is then transferred when the arm goes back and now you see the stone is on there. And while this travels down, go back off with the camera there a bit, it goes into the setting position and then it's going to place the stone down, turn the vacuum off, it's going to come back and go back up to station one. And in the meantime, station one went through its entire process again to collect that stone. So I'm going to turn the machine into the automatic mode. I'm going to go back to uh, where the machine settings are and I'm going to press start. So what's happening is there's a meter here and that meter is determining the quality of the suction and it's the robot's knowing I have a stone, I don't have a stone, so it won't make a mistake. It'll go back and get a stone before it continues on. So unlike with uh, our machine, unlike with uh, our competitor's machine, they often sell a set of tweezers with it because you have so much hand correction afterwards and with the Libro, you don't want to touch anything twice. You want to produce it and basically do a visual check and ship it out the door and it should be done. Now, <clears throat> on this machine, once the transfer is built, it continues on and we reapply the backing paper on here. So when the backing paper goes on, it's pressed together and it comes out the other end and we end up with a transfer. Okay, so we're ready to go with that. So I'm going to take you around the back and I want to show you the vacuum pump for just one second. So this vacuum pump is the one for the four stations and the big one at the back here is the one for the big header. So it's unique in the sense that you have a positive suction and you have the ability to collect the stone and immediately place it down perfectly every time. So those pumps are meant to work literally seven days a week, 24 hours a day. There's very little maintenance. You need to check the oil level visually once a week and every six months replace the oil. So it's not a big deal at all. Uh, I think I mentioned there's a lot of videos on YouTube. So you're able to take a look and watch the machine running on the kit that we have. We have probably a, a video camera set on a machine for several hours at a time where it's running without any intervention, just like this.